This is Professor Pathak from Government Engineering College, Civil Engineering Department. And this is my team. Vivek, Navik, Sikh Vijay, Vyash. Today we will see how to perform a static survey using GNSS system. We have brought you a Leica GNSS system in our institute. So today my team will explain you how to perform a static survey using a GNSS system. Hello, good morning friends. I am Nidhi Sulaji from the Government Engineering College Dharnagar and our school group is here to show you the usage and the working of the DGPS in the modern survey world. So first of all the GPS system is also used for the locating the exact land of the point on which you are supposed to work. And uh, it is also used for the modern surveying work and uh, also for the generation of the country. So my friend... Uh, I am Yesha. I am Vivek Salah. And the cameraman Barik Shah. So my friend Yesha will show you the how to unbox the DGPS. Our DGPS is like a system. <laughs> This is PC1, this is controller, this is tri patch, memory card, memory card, measure tab. This is antenna. This is 10. This is Now, Avik will show you how to set up this human. Thank you, Yash, for the intro. Now we will see how to set up this instrument in the field. First of all, take the receiver, unlock it, the, unlock the cap, and open this cap. It, it is the place where the memory card is inserted. So, we will take the memory cap here, and we will put the memory card inside here. And make sure that during survey, this memory card is inserted here. Okay, now we will put the cap back on. Now we will take the battery and make sure that these points are connected here and whenever you go for survey make sure that this battery is fully charged otherwise your survey will be a waste of time and we will lock the receiver here like this. Now, now we will see how to connect it. First of all we will take this stand and this stand will be connected with the tri batch like this and this is the lock make sure that this lock is tight otherwise it will fall okay now take the receiver put it up here it like this and rotate it so that it get tightened okay okay make sure it is tightened fully okay then take the antenna and the receiver and like this the antenna should be attach then this antenna is located here on the receiver and we will connect it like this and this is how we will tighten it okay and this is how the instrument is set up now we will see how to put this on the tripod the tripod will be set up now by Vivek hello everyone again i am here to show you how to set up tripod and uh, decay setting the instrument at the point whose coordinate you want to get it first and spread the tripod lens and open it. Okay. Yes, come here. Come, come. Okay. Open the lens. Go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, We will do the temporary leveling of tripod. Okay. So you should have 
pen put on this and you will see that image steady. It means that level this tripod is properly level. Okay, again check perpendicularly and you can see that it is properly level. Okay. Thank you leveling master. Again here. Thank you Eric for setting this instrument. We will put the DGPS here and we will lock it from the village here by rotating the lock here. Now I will go in how to level this GPS instrument. For that I will call require the help of the DBJ. DBJ, please come here to I DBJ and just be help me to level this instrument. Open the screw. Up, up the track, slowly. Now lock it. Yes. Down. Down. Up. Up, up. Okay, lock it. Lock it, yes. Now leave it here. Down the tripod. Slow. Okay, lock, lock. Yes, down. Slowly, again, slowly. Again, okay, lock, lock. Big DJ. Down. Slowly. Down, down. Okay, my turn. I will open. <laughs> Okay. Now little adjustment done by the these two screws. Okay. So you can see here, here is the focus screw, you can uh, focus the mm, location from here. put it like that and we have to fix it ok then we have to turn on the DGPS from here ok uh, simultaneously we have to turn on uh, the controller from here so, so so now the controller is on at the same time the DGP, DGPS is on the working process so now we will see how to set up the Yes, as a case, for the static side. Uh, static side means uh, this DGPS will receive the signal uh, for the accurate uh, measuring of the disk. Uh, for the for this, you have to uh, do the settings in this controller, and now we will, now I will show you how to set this. So first of all, after turn uh, turn in on, so this is this screen will uh, appear, and you have to see next and uh, here so here are many options you can use uh, only GPS you can use total station you can use GPS and total station board so here we I am only using GPS so I am selecting use GPS only then next okay then uh, you can uh, select the new job okay new job and then okay okay so here in general setting you have to give the name of the project your description your creator if you want to add 
n okay then you have to give the code list then uh, cad files uh, here there are many uh, okay now we will enter the name so uh, place here okay now you can see here you can give whatever name i am inserting one two three uh, one one two as a name and insert okay in the year okay then you have to give the description if you want creator uh, so now we will uh, insert the coordinate system on which you have to work so we will go to the coordinate system uh, uh, the our system uh, basically you have to uh, here i am selecting the utm 43 because our uh, pavnagar is in the utm 40, uh, 43 zone uh, you can also uh, make a new coordinate system by uh, selecting the new then you have to give the uh, name of the coordinate system you have to give the ellipsoidal with the projection system in whatever you are working okay after that you have to store this so now the your coordinate system is generated and you can work on it okay so i am selecting here utm 43 and uh, already selected okay so it is stored okay then okay and uh, now you it uh, will see that it will shows that now the our uh, base will uh, connect with this and then now we can uh, carry out the survey okay. so now for the basic setup you have to go to the instrument then uh, gps setting uh, then the into the antenna height uh, select it as a gps tripod uh, here are there are many options GGS, Sporting Pole, Smart Station, Tripod, what, uh, there are many. You have to for this and uh, you have to select the GPS, GS Sporting Tripod and then OK. OK, after that you have to uh, give the uh, instrument type in it. Uh, the vertical offset from here to here is already defined. Okay. So I will insert it here as one point two three. Okay, one point two three five. Okay. Then okay. Oh, so if the antenna is uh, the instrument I insert, then again go to the instrument, then the instrument uh, row data login. So we are using it as a base for the actually for the coordinate uh, getting the coordinate. So we will select it as a static uh, here two types static and the kinematics. So we are going to use the static. So here we will use the GS sensor. Uh, in uh, which you have to, you want to uh, store the data so we will use the gs sensor then turn on then rate 1.0 second like a format mdb then okay so we will again go to the instrument setting instrument then satellite tracking in the satellite tracking we have the many options the gps glonass galileo video uh, these all are the satellites so you have to select the gps and the glonass for the tracking the signal so we will uh, select this and then we will uh, ok it so after that you have to go to the uh, start the work and uh, at the same time you can see that this uh, where arrow will show uh, down and it will show that the, this GPS is receiving the signal from the satellite and uh, it is uh, now uh, in the working position so this is also now uh, this controller and the, this DGPS is connected by Bluetooth for receiving the signals. Okay. Then uh, now we so now we will go to work and the survey work. Oh, and uh, you can you have to give the ID of this point. I I am giving the GPS 001 as it is. Okay. Then insert. Okay. Uh, we have already insert the antenna height. 
so you can see that and then after you have to uh, click on the measure so click on measure okay so uh, okay so now we we have to put the controller here like that uh, after uh, click on the measure you can see here the three three dimensional array two dimensional array and the one dimensional array so you can get the Thank you, Dig Vijay, for the explanation. For video and understand the working of DGPS and how to uh, carry out the work by that. And uh, if you have any problem, any query, you can contact us. Uh, the information is given in the video. So thank, thank you. you for watching. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.